Hello fellow 3D printers. Today we are going to be talking about the Extrude tools and Blender 2.9. In this video, you're gonna learn about the extrude region, extruding along normals, extruding individuals, and the extrude manifold, which is only available in Blender 2.9, and then the crazy extrude decursor, Wild Child. Let's get started. And this is an overview from our longer course, which you can take over at ptt.live, where we help people learn 3D print design. So in order to go over and kind of get you familiar with all the different types of extrude tools. I made this little cube that will hopefully help you understand the differences between all the extrusions. First up is extrude region. You can hit E on your keyboard or just use the extrude tool, but make sure you don't extrude on top of another face. And if you do, you can just scale it down with S and then hit E to also extrude in. Very cool. Let's move on to the next. Number two, extrude along normals, which does exactly that. If you pull out some normals with your extrusion normal tool, it looks very similar to the extrusion tool. But if we select more than one and it hit, click extrude with the extrude along normals tool, it makes a cool rim. You can also scale it down, select multiple faces and extrude them all together. Let's go ahead and jump into the next extrude tool, which is kind of similar, but different. He is the extrude individual and he looks like the normal extrude tool, but Little did you know, if you select some faces like this one and extrude, it will actually extrude along individual faces. That's why he's called the individual extrude because he will extrude things individually. Pretty cool. You can also select multiples just like we did before and extrude inward or outward, making really cool accentuations to your geometry. And I really like this one. You can also scale along individual origins to make really funky designs really quickly. So this one, I just did the outer edges and then I took the insides of these faces and extruded individual and they clashed up against each other which is what you do not want but luckily if you scale individual you can bring them down and make this cool little spaceship opening or i don't know what this is but i like it and number four is extrude manifold which is only available in blender 2.9 alpha but it's amazing so look if i extrude it doesn't extrude a new piece of geometry. What is going on here? I don't know, let's keep investigating. So not only can you just extrude geometry very strangely, but if you extrude out again, nothing happens. Isn't that amazing? Just kidding. If you invert it, see these little black lines? When you let go, Blender will actually delete those for you and make it manifold, hallelujah. Not only that, say if you change your mind and you want to extrude that face back out again, looky there, it will actually weld these little edges back together. Watch in the corners here. When I let go, bloop, it'll just melt it together. That is incredible. So I'm just going to extrude these out normally with E and let's take these and extrude manifold. Bloop, get that to go away. Maybe pull this one out, you know, just like a normal extrude, but extrude manifold. So nothing too fancy here. But if I grab the inner face here on this kind of inside, notice it will push that geometry all the way in and make some really cool. See how the little black triangle goes and then it goes away. You can extrude up, you can extrude down, you can create new faces and it melts it together. That is amazing. And then what's even cooler is you can take another piece that you just made, bring that on down and it will melt it to the, the face against it. What? That is insane. And you really have to just play with this tool to really understand the power. Like this is a normal extrude, right? But watch this. Boom. Grab this guy, slide him on out. Now I've got this funky odd shaped hole. I can pull that piece out. You know, it's just, it, it really, it doesn't really click until you until you play around with it. So I strongly recommend just getting inside Blender uh, 2.9 Alpha and just playing with this tool because it is going to change the game, I think. Um, it's very fun, especially for 3D print designers, just making odd, weird shapes that just melt together. Makes just designing a lot more fun, I think. And it does take some time to get used to. So, you know, just get around and start playing around with all the different things and just try and break it. That's what I was doing. You know, if you break it, it's okay. Just undo and keep going. And the last one, extrude to cursor. He's a wild animal. You can click and just kind of make very 
odd shapes very quickly, but don't invert the geometry. Please, people, if you do something like this, just undo it. You've totally messed it up. But a simple way to do it, what I like to do is just click and it will extrude to your cursor. And then what I'll do is usually just scale it down just a little bit and then make another extrusion. So it's just kind of following the shape or the path of your cursor. And it will even change the previous geometry to, to kind of make the best shape. It's kind of trying to think for you, which is great because sometimes I don't rem I don't know what I'm trying to do. So, you know, now we made like this little witch's hat and now we can use the 3D print toolbox to repair it. We have zero non-manifold edges. Um, if I click this intersecting faces, we've got some intersecting faces. Uh, we've got some non-flat faces, which you can just click and fix with a click of a button. Bloop, just like that. Thank you, toolbox. And now we've got some sharp edges. So maybe we'll look at the sharp edges. Um, and the way that I fix that is just click on, you know, just make the edge less sharp just by scaling the face down. And that seems to help. So if we check all, bloop, that one goes away. Cool. And then we've got intersecting faces, but that's just kind of the nature of the beast of the manifold buttons. We've also got overhanging faces, uh, which Blender will highlight anything that's over 45 degrees. So again, you can just make your little adjustments. Uh, that one, you know, is hanging over. So uh, maybe you want to push that up, but I don't want to. I'm going to leave it down and maybe just put a little support right here. And yeah, I think it's ready for printing. So let's go ahead and export for 3D printing. Looking pretty good. And now I'm gonna bring it into Prusa Slicer. I've been playing with Prusa Slicer and I'm really starting to fall in love with it. Uh, so, you know, just check out your settings, make sure it's manifold, yes it is. And let's slice it on up and get it ready for 3D printing. And there we go, we've got a nice little sliced G-code file there with, uh, I'm not even gonna use supports, you know, I'm gonna live dangerously. So let's export it and send it to the 3D printer. And this is some pet G, uh, so it's a little stringy, I need to work on my retractions, but uh, looks pretty cool. And this thing 3D printed with no refs, no supports, I highly encourage you to do the same, get in there, play with the extrude tools, it's a ton of fun. And if you want to learn this full course step-by-step, step, you can take a seven day free trial at ptt.live and learn the tools with me. That's what I'm going to be doing. And it's going to be a ton of fun. Keep creating y'all.